Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a senior security architect at Microsoft, and I want to talk to you about controlled folder access that's built into Windows 10 and Server 2019. I think you're going to love this because it's an easy way to protect your data against ransomware. Let's take a look. Controlled folder access is built into Windows 10 and Server 2019. It's part of Windows Defender and uh, real-time protection Windows Defender has to be enabled for it to work, but it basically prevents a uh, unknown application or process for making changes to a file in a given folder. The way this works is pretty straightforward actually. Uh, you have a list of allowed apps that are allowed to make changes to a file in a folder and whenever a change to a file in that folder is made, uh, Windows Defender Real-Time Protection will evaluate that process and if it's trusted it allows it to make a change. If it's not trusted, it blocks it. Be aware this could have an impact on your environment, so make sure to run it in audit-only mode first to evaluate it before you do a production rollout. Microsoft does make some tools available to do a test of this, so you don't have to go and download real ransomware. And here's some more information about how to get those tools. All right, so to test this, we're gonna to go to demo.wd.microsoft.com, click on Controlled Folder Access, and this is going to walk you through how to test it. So first off, we're going to download this PowerShell script. And what that PowerShell script allows me to do is make sure that we're ready to test. So it's going to go through and verify that controlled folder access is enabled. It's going to create a demo folder. Um, it's going to do a few other things here just to make sure that we're ready to rock and roll. So you can review that script in, in full detail if you want. And here's what it looks like once it's ran. Now, once we run that script, uh, we'll, we're then going to launch the tool that it downloaded, and that's this little file creator tool here. So if we zoom in here for you, you could see the file creator tool, and it's going to create a test file and a number of directories that um, are being protected by controlled folder access. And if we come into our Windows Security Center here and we click on Virus and Threat Protection Settings and go down to the bottom, here we have controlled folder access, and here you can see it is enabled. And if I click on protected folders, you will see that there are a number of folders that are protected. Uh, my documents, my OneDrive folder, uh, that C demo folder that I created, so on and so forth. Okay, so with that being said, let's run through this. So here in the file creator tool, let's just move it over here. Uh, we are going to create a file called testfile.txt off the desktop. So I'm going to click on create file and it just created the file. Now we're going to give it just a few moments here. There's Windows Defender controlled folder access kicking in. If we click on it, here's the actual event. Let's take a look. And there you can see that controlled folder access took control and it blocked that process for making a change to that directory, i.e. writing a file. Uh, let's try this again, but let's use our OneDrive path. So here's my OneDrive folder off of C users mat OneDrive dash, dash Contoso. So let's pull up our tool here. We're going to use custom path and we're going to paste that guy in there and we're going to choose create file. And in just a moment here, we'll get the alert indicating that CFA kicked in. There it is. And so if we pull this up, there's CFA kicking in for blocking that process, making changes to my OneDrive folder. And there you can see that happening. Now, if you wanna see this in the event log, if we pull up the Windows event log, and I filtered on a few different event IDs, 1123 and 5007. If we just do a quick refresh, you can see I've been testing this all morning. Uh, here's those events. And um, if we pull up this one here, and zoom in for you. There you can see controlled folder access indeed blocked that malicious process for making a change to that folder. Folks, it's as simple as that. This is controlled folder access. Pretty cool stuff. As I mentioned before, you can customize this, add your own applications to trust, add custom protected folders, and do all that with your enterprise management tools. Here's more information and a great article that walks you through it. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. So check out the documentation, do some testing, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.